Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate that. Tonight we've got another beer review, and this is going to be... Excuse me. This is another one from Spindle Tap out of Houston. So, some of their beers have randomly started showing up at one of the uh, bottle shops that I frequent. And, um, you know, I always heard good things, and why not pick them up? So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, this is going to be a double IPA. This is going to be Stratospheric Clouds. Uh, it's got a really cool, like, shiny label on it with some crazy looking clouds. And, like, I guess the, uh, I guess it's probably, like, the Houston skyline along the bottom there. Pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> this one comes in at 8%. And I can't read the date. It's all thrown off off to the side there. I think one of the other cans that I have, uh, I think it said it was from July somewhere, so uh, probably, I don't know, eight weeks old or somewhere around there. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get it poured. Uh, yeah, this um, very pale colored. Um, almost like to that straw color, very light, completely opaque, two fingers worth of kind of a, I guess it's a bright white head, uh, really tight bubbles around the sides there. But uh, yeah, that color is just, that's great. I love that color. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. Well, okay. <clears throat> it's got a, a big, quite a big aroma to it. It doesn't smell like your typical uh, New England style IPA though. I mean, it's got, uh, don't get me wrong. Okay, it's got some of those qualities, but it's not leaning like overwhelmingly uh, in that, I guess it's citrusy quality. Like it's got, what is that? Like it's almost got that like <clears throat> vinous, like white grape type thing. And I don't know if this is hopped with Nelson but it's kind of got that. It's almost got like an earthy, like dirty, earthy vibe going on. Yeah, it's almost got like a little bit of like a vegetal thing. It's got a little bit of like a, almost like a perfumey type aroma. It's like perfumey, floral, like dirty, earthy type dank quality of some kind. But it does. It, it, it reminds me of Nelson. I don't know if it has it in it. Um, you know, I could be completely wrong. But underneath all that, I mean, you do get a little bit of citrus, like some um, the little cuties. Um, maybe a little bit of pineapple kind of floating around underneath all that, too. It smells really nice, though. Um, nice and different, uh, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. It's very good. It's it is different. Um, man, I really wanna, I really wanna say this probably has Nelson in it. Um, you just I don't know. To me, Nelson puts off this like, I guess I said it in the aroma too. It's like a dirty, earthy, and vinous. Like it's like a the vines of like a grape, <clears throat> but it's also got a little bit of the white grape like fruit quality coming through as well. Definitely has a little bit of that like oniony, garlicky, like green, uh, dank quality of whatever, whatever you want to call it. I guess I, I mean it's it's coming across like super dank in my opinion, um, but it's that type of dankness. It's the oniony, garlicky type uh, dank quality. Um, super soft mouthfeel on this one. It's very very like creamy. I'm not picking up any alcohol. I mean, you know, it's got a decent pop of bitterness. The bitterness to me comes across in more of a pithiness. The 
Maybe a little bit like an orange zest or something like that. It's got a nice little bit of sweetness that kind of lingers on the back end. It's not a very dry beer at all. Like this is not something that is going to be a crusher by any means. I mean, this is a, to me, this is the definition of like a hazy IPA, like sipper. I mean, this is not something you want to just down, um, at least not for me. Uh, it just doesn't have that super like tropical juicy like um, I don't know what like it's not it's not like that sweet like juiciness that wants you to like just you can just down like a whole glass like it's got a little bit more to it it's got a little bit more of that like earthy vine like uh, like dirty dank stuff going on and uh, to me I, I enjoy that uh, it's just not something that I want to just like drink this beer in like five minutes. It is very good though. Very well done. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and pull this up because I want to see. And as you can see, I don't have it pulled up already. I don't know uh, at all, but um, let's go ahead and... <clears throat> so this is strata... What is it? Stratospheric clouds wow it's getting a 4.29 on untapped uh i will say as far as my rating part goes i'm going to go with a 4.2 as well um okay so yeah i mean i was wrong it's uh strata and galaxy which we probably should have been able to guess uh, from the name and the label but uh yeah i mean to me sometimes galaxy puts off a um you know like an earthy uh, type of thing too. Um, Strata, I, 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 I don't know the hop profile off the top of my head. I know I've had a, several beers with that, that hop. Um, I want to say it's got a really prevalent dank quality to it, um, but I, I, I would have to look it up. Um, this is a great beer though. It's got a nice, you know, like I said, it's it, it almost comes across in a Nelson type of way, which I'm off on that. I, I get that, but it's got that quality to it, that white grape, and it's got that like dirty vine-like thing going on. Um, but this is a great beer, it really is. So yeah, 4.2 from me. Um, let me know if you've had this. Again, Stratospheric Clouds um, from Spindle Tap out of Houston. Uh, this was a great beer. I'm really happy that I was able to pick this up. And uh, let me know if you've had this beer. I uh, would love to hear from you. And if you liked the video, leave a like and a comment. And also, as we always have to end the video with, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. We'll definitely appreciate that. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.